This is it. Planet Yeedle. I have done everything wrench only up until this point. If you missed it, I skipped um, Demosal and I basically abused the hell out of this level. Uh, this was in part 22 and that got me into the Megacorp facility. The Megacorp HQ. So, now it's time to see what this world is made of. What can you throw at me, game? Apart from these guys. I have worked super hard to get this far. And you know what? I'm going to finish this game. It's going to happen. You're going to witness it right now. Okay, maybe not right now. I mean, we've got to get through it first. But you're going to witness it anyway. They take a lot of hits. It's impressive. I think we need a swing shot. I think we're going to need that. I cannot get them, and therefore I won't. Because why should I? I don't abide by your rules game. Not always. Just a lot of the time. Because I set myself my own challenges, which are stupid. <laughs> but fun, and that's the point. Also, this music is super loud right now. I'm just going to turn it down a tad. There we go. I'm genuinely intrigued about what's going to happen in this world, because as of going into it right now, obviously I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think this is going to be too challenging. I think this is going to be quite fair for the most part. I could be wrong, <laughs> but I don't think this is going to be too bad. I don't think there are any checkpoints throughout this level though, so... I will probably die, at least, well, I technically already have died, I guess, I uh, died trying to get to this place. Um, but, I mean, in the facility itself, I'm probably going to die at least once. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We're trying, we're trying our best. Just taking out all the guys first. Oh, you survived. My bad. Sorry, I thought you were dead. Dead? I didn't even know he was sick. Jesus Christ, how many are there? <laughs> and they didn't die. Jesus Christ. That's impressive. That's very impressive, actually. Goes to show just how powerful things are at this point. That's got to be all of them, surely. No more spawning enemies. And because I have noticed it, and I'm an idiot, I'm going to go and kill these guys, because they're not flying. They are not flying, and they never will be again. Bye, bye. Pleasure doing business with you and stuff and things. Goodbye, sweet dreams, tomorrow's another day. Okay, that went well. This room, 100% cleared, all enemies killed. Victory be mine. Next. Oh good, Protopets, my favorites. <laughs> Absolute favorite, they're dolls. Oh, okay, it's uh, Dynamo, it's not, not a uh, swing shot. Fair enough. These guys I am not killing, and I am worried about them, honestly. Wrong button. No, yes, no. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, we're alive. Oh, no. <laughs> we're alive. Let's see how bad this is. Okay, the ground forces aren't a problem. The top ones are. They're going to be able to shoot me, no matter where I am. That is a problem. Unless I... No, even that attack won't work. That attack wouldn't work. I might be able to reach them, to be honest. I don't think it's that high up. The one up there I'm not worried about. It's the ones on the left side. Those are the problems. Because they can definitely hit me while I'm in the panel. Question is, does it get interrupted? If it doesn't, there's no problem here. If it does, then we have a slight problem. We'll see. Cool. Thanks for hitting me. Appreciate it. Jesus, they just don't stop coming, do they? I kind of do need to kill all these ones, though, because they 
they are impeding progress and stuff. Like, this isn't a, oh, I guess you could skip them. No, I kind of need to kill them because of that. Because of that lovely panel right there. That said, I think we are actually quite far into this level. I could be Mr. Jesus. I could be mistaken. And I probably am. Will you stop running away, you bastards? Just take the hit. Okay, that's bad. So they do free damage, which actually isn't as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it is now that I'm nearly dead, but... In terms of, like, legit, it's not that bad, like, overall. Depends on what happens now. Okay, no more. Do I survive? Yes, I do. That's all I needed to know. Gotta remember the route. Cool, there we go, that was easy enough. And in we go. I never understood the point of this room. There's loads of proto pets, and okay, that's slightly. Ah, the fuck, fuck, fuck! I'm dead. God damn it, you little shits, you absolute shits. That I did not see coming. Okay, ignoring the fact that it totally worked. I never understood the point of the Terminator because I guess it instantly kills them, but like. I don't know, it just seems utterly pointless, because, like, it doesn't raise or lower the platforms. If you have any weapon, then they're not remotely difficult to take out. Like, if you just, you, just, you can nuke them, you can, you can do anything, really. They're not a threat. So I never really understood the point of the room. Wrench only, however, uh, a bit annoying. The great thing about... Oh, damn. The great thing about this, assuming I don't die here, um, no, I'm dead. I'm very dead. I, I, ooh. I, I died because that was my fault. That was 100% my fault. If I'd just been patient, I would have been fine. I was trying to rush it. Um, yeah, the good thing now is that door is open, so I don't actually have to kill anyone in that room. I can literally just run through. Um, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was terrifying. Don't do that again. So yeah, this this world actually is not that difficult. And even the final boss, I'm not really worried. I don't think it's going to be a threat. I could be wrong. It might be a lot harder than I think it is. But I don't, I don't remember it being a difficult boss. So I guess we will see. Wow. Wow. This is just me playing horribly right now. Right, here we go. I forgot about the tank, but that's not a problem, because... Yeah, let's test the theory. Does it kill them instantly? Yeah, okay, I guess that's the reason. Not a good one, but I guess that's the reason. Because besides that, it doesn't seem to do anything. This room is no different otherwise. There we go. Right, question. Are we at the point I think we're at? Because if we are, we are at the end. Yes, we are. Okay. Now we switch to the Froster Pack. I've got to do this right. I only have a couple shots. So. Lure everything over here, if I can. Don't get shot, Teal. This is it. Should be high enough. Ah, oh, it wasn't enough. It is It is enough. I've just got to get the jump right. 
That's the difference. I've got to learn how to do that jump. That actually is a big thing. Like, I've seen it done, and actually, in principle, it looks really simple. It's not, though, because I don't understand how the jump specifically works. Like, I don't... I don't know where I have to jump from. I don't know if the tank... I don't know if the tank has to be completely out the way. I don't know anything about it. And watching a speedrun won't actually tell me the answer. Um, I mean, it will give me an... Like, the tank might just conveniently be out of the way, but that might not mean anything. Like, that's the thing. It's... Oh, you asshole! You absolute asshole! I hate you all! Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So, question is, how difficult is this final section gonna be? Because literally, once I get past that gap, this entire thing is done. I'm at the final boss. There's like one puzzle and it's not even slightly difficult. And then there's a, a room of enemies, again, not even slightly difficult. It's, it's a simple room of those guys, and that's it. I can take them out, no problem. So, it really is just a case of, can I, against all odds, Fuck you. Against all odds, can I fuck you? No, can I... Can I get past those tanks and that gap? Can I do it? Because that is the last thing standing in my way. Whoops. Bye. Bye guys, bye guys, bye guys, bye guys, bye guys! So glad that exists. Kind of a dumb jump. Because it's kind of absolutely pointless. <laughs> it's not needed at all. Okay. No! 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 Oh, that's gutting. That is gutting. Th that stings. That really stings. I had made it. I waited because I didn't think it could shoot me. Obviously, I was wrong. Noted. I will jump up next time. Doesn't matter where it is, I will do it. Good to know. Thank you, game. Don't care about you shooting me. Nothing bothers me. I just want to get past you all. Okay, back here again. Forgot I didn't have the helipack. I also don't have the fucking... <sighs> I would have died either way. I didn't have the the swing shot, so it made no difference. God fucking damn it. Completely forgot to switch the swing shot. I was really hoping to get through this in a couple of goes, but kind of disappointed that myself I haven't, because I feel like at this point I'm indestructible because of the fact that I've done everything else. I've done things that were claimed to be impossible, including something the game itself claimed to be impossible. I know it's not, but like, the idea of it, it's the mentality, the ego has grown as a result. And I kind of just wanted to take that to the end, but I've sort of failed it. That's alright, I guess. I can redeem it.
This really does kind of suck, though. Got it. No, no, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off! Will you stop shooting? There we go. Got you, you piece of shit. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna ruin your life. And you're gonna fool after it. Wow, nanotech upgrades do nothing to you, do they? Yay! <laughs> Got ya. Electrolyzer, the final one. I wasn't even paying attention. I couldn't see the star at all. I was just like, what do I turn? <laughs> do I turn? Done. There we go. Now I get on this. Take me to victory. First, switch me back to there. I think that's a Platinum Bolt I can't get. Oh, there was one at the beginning I didn't get because I forgot. I was going to do it in this run through, but I forgot about it completely. Sorry about that, but I don't care. <laughs> like, at all. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, it can be done. No, it totally can, because it's a, uh, it's a thing. It's whatever it's called. The tractor beam thing. I don't know. I oh, don't know. Yeah, it, no, it actually is called the tractor beam. Okay. I thought it was called something else. So when I said tractor beam thing, technically, oh god, I didn't know you were there. That makes things difficult. That actually does genuinely make things difficult. I didn't know that was there. Interesting. Very interesting. My god, there's so many of you. And even that's not enough to stop me. The good thing about that cannon is it's not actually a threat per se. I don't have to kill it. That's the thing. I don't actually have to kill it. And that's good. Because what it's blocking is a swing shot panel. No more enemies. Watch this kill me. <laughs> like the easy thing. Don't miss it. Okay, good. I was gonna say, don't miss the grind rail. If you hit the grind rail, you win. <laughs> like it's okay. It's not impossible to die here. It's pretty hard though. Okay, thank you for that. Yay, I got the button bolt. Right. How good's my luck? How good's my shots? How good's my stuff in general? Got ya! You know what? I don't much care, to be honest. Bye! This is it. The protopet duplication room. I'm sorry I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. No problem. You're just in time. Okay, let's see if this thing works. She is trying to tell us something. Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McCork. Indeed. Now that I've sold my one millionth Hygenator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived, Captain Quark! All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base so I can rescue them from a new disaster! <laughs> But Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizz Widget! <laughs> this is bad. All right, just what the f is going on? 
<laughs> Allow me to explain. I'm about to save the galaxy from the protopets, and you are about to become public enemy number one. Oh, and two and three. Guards, seize them! Smile, it's showtime! <clears throat> Citizens of Bogon, I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> flashlight of justice? <laughs> oh. As you know, a living menace called the Proto-Pet has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens. These are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this, uh, super electro gadget I invented, I will end the protopet threat once and for all. That's my elixir I invented... <clears throat> Ahem. Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I amplify the signal from this helix so thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. Bobby! Does that helix morph actually work? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. Yes, 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 yes. Return to ship. Okay. Uh, return to ship. The reason I say that is because I'm going to get that platinum bolt that I missed. It's pretty straightforward, if I remember correctly. Okay, it's on the opposite side. <laughs> it It's still pretty straightforward, if I remember correctly. There it is. Hooray! Very cool lab. HQ, okay, it's the lab. Let's do this. Final boss go. That's quite a lot of damage. I appreciate that. I'm gonna probably die in this attempt because, you know, I, technically speaking, haven't got the most amount of health. Okay, so you bring down for the pets, that's quite bad. I do a lot of damage with the wrench though. I mean, technically speaking, these could give me experience. They probably won't, but they could. Okay, this is a problem. This is a pretty big one. I'm tempted to die. Okay, actually, wait a minute. While the protopet- Okay, since I'm testing this, okay, that's pretty much instant kill. Good to know. Okay. This isn't easy, but it's not bad. Well, the protopets- Actually, let's test. Is this instant kill? No, it's just a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Now, this is good. This is very good. That one, that's not instant kill. Two, um... Oh, shit, it eats ammo. I forgot about that. Two, um... When the protopets are out, it doesn't seem to do anything. So I actually might be able to just hit it then. And that is actually my plan from now on. This bot, I, I still maintain, I don't think this is going to be that difficult. But I do think it eats ammo. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, like right now, it's eating ammo. What does it actually do to me? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's quite bad. I mean, it makes it a little harder, sure. With weapons, this boss is an absolute pushover. Like, it's not even slightly a threat. I don't know if that's going to remain the same during this version of the fight, but... I mean, with what I've done, I don't think this is going to be that bad. Like, it's just learning the pattern of how to deal with it. And if I'm right with the protopet thing, then yeah, this isn't a problem. But, I mean, look at that. I'm just able to do quite a lot of damage at any given time there. I don't think it ever gets to the point where it's super difficult to manage. It's more just my own abilities to learn the pattern and dodge it whenever necessary. Oh, you 
quite pissed off about that, aren't you? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Somehow I dodged that. I'm very unsure how. Can you get me from here? No. No, you can't. LOL. It's hilarious. Just destroying you. That is... Note to self. Let it eat the ammo. Is it the same each time? If so, there is seriously no problem then. You destroyed your ammo. Why would you do that? It's really easy to hit you when you, when you have it. So have it, please. Okay, photo pet time. Do you not move? That is the question now. Do you just stay still? No, you seem to be moving. No. No, we're on phase two. Phase two. I'm I'm stuck. I can't move. Okay. Do you know what would be great? If I leveled up. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Am I allowed to use this? Technically speaking, yeah. It's a gadget. <laughs> Technically speaking, I'm totally within my rights to use it. Okay, you do seem to move while the pro pairs are out. I thought for a bit you just didn't move, but no, you run away, so they need to die. You need to kill these guys because it makes my life easier. I'm dead. How did I lose that much health? I lost like double what I normally lose. That's really weird. What happened? I don't know. I really don't. But it sucked. Okay, it's not easy, boss. It's just manageable. Yeah, I'm allowed to use the Trank to Beam thing. But I won't at least once to see what it's like. Because I want to know. Yeah, this is the best move. Because you can't do anything to me. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm just inside you. That sounds much worse than I intended it to mean. But, yeah. It's, it's the easiest phase. You can't do anything to me while you're eating it. Go for it, my friend. Eat to your heart's content. Do I hear phase two? Maybe we do. Nope, not quite. Probably soon. Go for it, my friend. Yum yums for you. Now we got phase two. Yeah, definitely. I was gonna say that's. Oh, shite. That was bad. I should have. <laughs> Look at me move. That's hilarious. That was hilarious to watch me move. Okay. Still. Okay. Interesting. Oh, Jesus. You do a lot now. When you crush me, you do, like, near half damage. That's pretty bad. That's actually very, very bad. How many of them are there? Not too many. Manageable amounts. Piss off. Bye. Yeah, I want to see what happens when it eats the tractor beam. The tractor beam thing, I want to know. Because obviously it's designed for him. But I want to know what he does with it. And how bad is it for me? Let's find out. It is very bad. Noted. It's supremely bad. We 
which means I need to use it myself because ain't no way I'm letting you use it. God damn it. I didn't see how much damage that did. Hopefully a lot. But hey, I took out half health, so that's something, I guess. The well, slight issue is now one hit is death, so uh, there's that. And considering it's proto-pets, I'm gonna die. Instantly! What are the chances they'll help me out and not hit me? Probably none. There it is. <laughs> well, I got over halfway. That's good. I'm getting there. Getting the pan a little bit more. I understand how it works, so it's all good. Basically, let him eat whatever he wants, apart from the tractor beam. I will stop him with it because it seems to do quite a lot of damage to him, which is good. Got some num nums for you. Good boy! Bye. So what are we getting on phase three? Because this isn't the end. I mean, there's, we go down another floor. So yeah, what's phase three like? I wonder. Severely wish I hadn't done that, but whatever. It is what it is. I screwed up. I, re I respect that. It's my fault. I was too eager because I had the stupid box breaker. Box breaker is now nothing but trouble. <laughs> Even though it is a godsend in the Ratchet series. Well, I guess he's not doing that move again. Shite. Jesus. Okay, what's the deal? What is the deal? How does it work? Like, genuinely, though. Because I've had times where it does... Like, it does two and a half, and I've had times where it does four. What's the deal? How does it work? Oh, no. No, but it, I'm legitimately wondering. How... See, there it's four. I've had times where it's not, though. Why? What's the difference? What is the difference? Genuinely. I don't understand or know. It's not the same weapon. Oh no. That's much worse. It's the bouncer. That's... I'm dead. Okay. I want him to eat another bouncer. Because I want to understand how his properties work. Can I do the same thing? Let's find out. Together. Oh, shit. It's not just the bouncer. Oh, no. More interestingly, do they ever die? Yes, it can kill them. Good to know. If it's the bouncer, I want to test it. Yes, it is. And I don't think it will get me. Huh, interesting. Do I ever want to run that risk? Part of me does, yes. I maintain this isn't actually that bad. It is really just a, a matter of learning how it works. Besides that, this is actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think the bouncer one won't hit me because I'm inside it. The guys won't either until he's outside, obviously. Until they're outside. Um, so they're a long-term problem. My biggest problem with this boss is just learning to dodge. I mean, technically speaking, I could just ignore hitting him. Until... Until he goes to the phase where he needs to attack. I could try that, because that would work.
Hate you all, by the way. All proto pets must die. Bye. Okay, where's the. Okay, ammo is there. Doesn't mean he's gonna eat it. Actually, will he ever eat it? Oh, yes, it's different. Okay, I was gonna say. Will he ever eat it? Because I haven't. And I can't, because I don't have weapons used, but. Okay. I don't think I've been hit yet in this phase, which is nice, if that is true. I'm not forgetting something obvious. Bye. And down we go. Whoops, shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Cool. The amount of health I dealt was really good. Or damage dealt, I guess. Is the correct term. Fuck off. It's not just the protopets, it's these fucking soldier guys as well. They're super annoying. Hope you get run over. Good. Okay. Bomb sold. Well, I'm gonna pay attention to your health. How bad does it go down? I didn't pay attention to the health because I was trying to pay attention to not getting hit. It's like, I'm gonna pay attention to your health. It completely ignores my health. Or its health, I should say. So I'm just trying to concentrate on making sure it actually hits. So I wasn't really... I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this thing, and then didn't. Shite. Big shite. Absolute big shite. Real big shite. Run him over, please. Because I am desperate at this point. They are my biggest problem right now. And my biggest problem is about to become bad. Do it. We're gonna test. The answer is no, you can't hurt me with it. But I can hurt you, although they do bounce back. So that is a problem, I guess. But that's for another time. Tractor beam. I've gotta try and not hit them at the same time. Oh wow, it loses a lot of damage. Okay, yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh shit, it's bad! First off, get up. Oh man! Okay, final phase. Does not fuck about. Okay, that's bad. That's very, very bad. I don't even know how to take them out. I don't think you can, to be honest. Which means the entire third phase, I have two tanks shooting at me. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. Hmm. Again, I maintain this isn't that bad. It's just problematic. That's saying that though, final phase might be a problem. We'll see. I don't I don't know. I've still got that hope that maybe something will be able to take him out, but I do not know what that is, if anything. It may just be the case that I have two tanks shooting at me, but at the same time, that might not be a bad thing, because that means they can take out the things in the middle, so I guess that's upside, I guess. Okay, so, just dodge like normal, nothing's changed, just attack you until you throw up, like now, bye bye, I've taken no damage, good, bye, 
die. Oh my god, I'm alive. I shouldn't be at all. I'm over here. Kill him. Damn. That's bad, but okay, whatever. It's bad until a point. That point is now. Track to beam time. That is a lot of damage. It's an impressive amount. Okay. I've just realized they're not actually spawning. They're just there's just loads of them at the beginning, which is interesting. So that does make it a little bit more manageable, I guess. Because it's just dealing with whatever's there. And that's all of them. And loads of these guys who are being dealt with immediately. <laughs> I kind of hope you don't destroy the ammo. And you did not. Good. Good for you. Okay. A little bit more problematic, but not death. Not not instant death. It is for them if they get caught up in it. Which they will, because I'm going to make sure of it. Oh, oh, you're back. That's good to know. Cool. I don't know if these guys are actually hurting it or not. I cannot tell, to be honest. Phase two? Yes. Phase, sorry, phase three is what I meant. Yes, slightly problematic. Here we go. Phase three. Don't know what to experience here. Are the turrets shooting it and are they taking it out? No, I don't think it's hurting it. It might be because it has a shield up while it does this though. That could be a reason. I'm gonna say that is the reason for now. Because I like that reason. <laughs> and the great thing is, those tanks are shooting the guys in the middle, so there is that. Yeah, there are basically just a lot more guys in this round. That's the difference here. There are just more people to attack me. So, eat it. Show me what you've got. What's your next move? What's your next attack? I don't know what this is. It's bad. It's very, very bad. But manageable anyway. Nothing I haven't faced before. Trying to work out what weapon that's based off. Thank you. Give me it. Okay, that's good. Give me another tractor beam and this is over. I'm actually not exaggerating. This is so close to being over. Holy shit. Is it over? It is now! at all this time. Gentlemen, you have my most profound gratitude. It was nothing, sir. I'm just sorry we couldn't get the Helixo more back. <laughs> right. What do you suppose is wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. It could take months of research and... The battery is in backwards. Oops. Imbecilic to the very last. <laughs> Down, boy. I just have to amplify the device with Megacorp's TV transponders, and that should cure the other protopets. Clank? Uh oh. It's okay. I can fix her. I promise. Yeah!
I beat you, Ratchet 2. Mike Dodger Stout and Mary Hoverbike Chick Stout. Yeah! Oh, yes. Oh, I did it. I did it. Yeah, that fight wasn't that bad at all. Like, that took me, what, 20 minutes? Just trying to get used to it. 20, 20 minutes, maybe 30 at most. Wasn't that bad at all. I expected it to be worse. Oh, man, I did it. The entire game wrench only. Tony Garcia. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I did the impossible challenge. I cleared the Mosul. I beat all the bosses, including the secret boss. I did it all. I did it all. This was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. It, there were elements which were super stressful. But I did so, it. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, my. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever happened to Quark? I heard he was working at Megacorp. So, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby cleans you something fierce. I just got done testing the full body waxinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. All right, fellas. Nice and tight now. So you tested this, right? Oh, wait! That's why I'm here! <laughs> oh, one more thing! Yes! Technically, I didn't beat Quark. Technically, I beat a protopet, but yeah. I beat it a protopet. Yes, good job. I did it. I nailed it. I absolutely nailed it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Oh, yes. So, I did this with Ratchet 1. And I couldn't get that far. I wonder, how far can I get without using the wrench? Or weapons. Using nothing. How far can you get? I'm intrigued. I want to know. I want to find out. I think I will be quite limited. The fact that I'm doing challenge mode does make this much easier because I, technically speaking, have money. So there is that. That does help. Otherwise I'd have to just, I guess, blindly hope I get some along the way for gadgets and stuff and things. But yeah, let's, let's see just how well this goes, shall we? I can't believe I did it. Wrench only. I actually did it. I bested this game. This game cannot defeat me. I am the wrench only king. And this is where you get stopped. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. How far can you get without using the wrench? Not far. Even less, even less further than Ratchet 1. Like, you're stuck in this room. Like even if you get them to kill each other, that's... I don't even think it's possible. Yeah, they're actually not killing each other. That's really interesting. So yeah, there you go. That's that. Good to know. I did it. I bested this game. Thank you very much for watching this series. It has been a joy to do, although stressful. And yeah, I I nailed it. Um, I guess I should show off this. So I don't know how it works exactly, but something like you can just you just can keep jumping upwards or something up across walls. I don't know how it works. But yeah, you can basically just climb walls by doing stuff like that. 
but I don't understand how it works. I've never actually done it properly. But yeah, that's uh, that is Ratchet 2. Wrench only. I have nailed it. Whew. Next up, no Ratchet 3. Not yet. I've got the PS4 Ratchet to do, I guess. Will it be possible? Will I have to give in at some point? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, though. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.